Lesson 25. Objective using basic facts to approximate decimal quotients with two-digit divisors. In Module 1, we rounded our decimal factors to estimate the product. We will estimate quotients now by rounding the whole and divisor. So if we estimate that divisor, 29 is close to 30. And what divided by 30? What can we divide by 30 that's close to 62.3, or 62 and 3 tenths? Right, 60. And so 60 divided by 30 is equal to 2, because 2 times 30 is equal to 60. So 62 and 3 tenths divided by 29, the approximate answer is 2. Let's compare this to this problem here. We'll notice that the divisors are the same. However, our holes, or our dividend, what we're dividing, is actually 10 times smaller. You notice that the decimal place actually shifted over one digit. Let's see what happens to our estimated quotient then. 6 and 23 hundredths, and we have 30 there. Since our divisor is the same, we'll use the same estimated divisor there of 30. And then so we have something divided by 30, which also could be something divided by 3 first, and then divided by 10. So what can we divide by 3 that is close to our holes there? Right, 6. So 6 is our estimated there. We have 6 divided by 3 divided by 10, which that's equal to. So we have, this is, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 divided by 10 is equal to 2 tenths. And then so as you see, our estimated quotient is 10 times smaller. Is 10 times smaller there. And that was because our holes was actually 10 times smaller and our divisor was the same. So that's how it is that we're using a basic fact there of 6 divided by 3 to get 2 there to go ahead and work through these types of problems. Here I'm asked to estimate this quotient. We have 15 and 62 hundredths divided by 53. We'll start by looking at our divisor, and 53 is close to 50. Next, we're going to look for multiples of 5 that are close to my quotient here. So we have 5, 10, then 15. We also have 20, but the multiple of 5 that is the closest is 20. So we will go 20 divided by 50. So this is, can be rewritten as 20 divided by 5 divided by 10. 20 divided by 5 is 4, and then we divide that by 10. And our knowledge of place value tells us that is 4 tenths. So 15 and 62 hundredths divided by 53 is about 4 tenths. So we're estimating by identifying easily identifiable multiples. Here I have another problem, 438 and 6 tenths divided by 62. We'll start first by estimating that divisor. 62 is close to 60. And instead of concentrating on multiples of 60, we'll concentrate in on multiples of 6. So we have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 
48. 42 here is close to the 43 tens that are within that number. So in this case here, we would go to 42 tens, which is worth 420. 420 divided by 60, that would be 420 divided by 6 divided by 10. We could do divided by 10 first and then divided by 6. 420 divided by 6, that's 7 tens, which is 70 divided by 10, which is 7. So 438 and 6 tenths divided by 62 is about 7. Your turn to try. Go ahead and work this out. Did you choose 30? And then ideally, if you were looking at this here, you're looking at multiples of 3. So that's 3, 6, 9, 12. Closest one is 9. So we would have 9 divided by 30, which is equal to 9 divided by 3 divided by 10. So our basic fact that is helping us is 9 divided by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 3 divided by 10 is 3 tenths. Remember to write your answer up here as well. Read that whole equation with me. 9 and 78 hundredths divided by 31 is about 3 tenths. Here we have 1 and 84 hundredths divided by 23. Your turn to try again. Remember we start by rounding. So we look at that there. And I notice a couple of things here. Let's try to estimate this a couple of different ways. If we count by twos, it's pretty quick that we get to two right away. And actually, one and eighty-four hundredths is very close to two. Or at least it's close to two. So this is two divided by twenty. Two divided by twenty is two divided by two. That's our basic fact that helped us. Divided by ten, which is one divided by ten, which is equal to one tenth. Looking at this another way, you might have chosen instead you might have chosen eighteen as your multiple. And so your basic fact is eighteen divided by two equaling nine, or nine times two being eighteen. Let's see how it is that this works then. If we did choose that instead, then we would still be dividing by twenty. We had eighteen there. And that's 18 tenths. 18 tenths is worth 1.8. So we have 1.8 divided by 20, which is 1.8 divided by divided by 2, because that was our basic fact there, of that 18 divided by 2, and then we divide it by 10. So 1 and 8 tenths divided by 2, or 18 tenths divided by 2, is 9 tenths. So this is equal to 9 tenths. And then yet we're still dividing by 10. And then so what happens to that decimal place? Remember that it gets shifted one place over. To the, that digit gets shifted over one place to the right. So here we're talking about 0 0.09, which is actually still close to um, 0 0.1. And then so our estimate there is uh, probably a little bit more accurate and closer to the actual answer. That is, if we chose the basic fact of 18 instead of choosing the basic fact of 2. So again, what you do is you start by rounding and estimating that divisor. 37 is close to 40. Then we concentrate in on that 4. And then so concentrating on that 4, we look at multiples of 4. 1 times 4 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 3 times 4 is 12. And then we look at the one that is closest to those holes there. We're talking about 9 and 78 hundredths. And then so 9 and 78 hundredths would be in between 8 and 12, and it's closer to 8 than it is to 12. So 8 would be um, the closest there. And then so that's 8 ones. That's why we write 8 divided by 40 at that point. 
then we can continue to solve this. This is 8 divided by 4, then divided by 10. 8 divided by 4, that's our basic fact that is helping us figure out this estimate here. 2, and then um, we do have to remember to divide by 10, and 2 divided by 10 is 2 tenths. So, our whole problem there is 9 and 78 hundredths divided by 37 is approximately 2 tenths. And knowing our estimates here will help us as we continue to work and as we continue to learn to um, work out these using that standard algorithm or other approaches. It will help us place that decimal point.